Hi, what's Mel cooking today? Well, she's gonna cook sour cream chicken enchiladas. It's a favorite of all my family and friends. Now, the ingredients you need to gather, some flour tortillas, white onions, green onions. I did a block of cheddar cheese shredded. Got two breasts of chicken diced. Cream of celery soup, cayenne pepper, chili powder, green chilies, and your sour cream. Now, we gotta preheat the oven to 350. So let's go ahead and do that. So, next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and get the chicken to start cooking, and then we'll start mixing the other items. So you're gonna take your two breasts of chicken that are diced, and then you're gonna take your cayenne pepper, we're going to do about a teaspoon of that. And then chili powder. I'm going to do a tablespoon of that. Okay. Add a little salt and pepper. And then we're going to pop them in the wok over there. And since we've got it cooking, we're going to put the lid on it, let that cook while we mix everything else. So we're going to take our soups and put them in here. And then we're going to take the green chilies. I get the ones that are already diced. I don't have to cut them up. And you're going to take your sour cream. Do about a half. So this is an eight, uh, yeah, 16 ounce. I take about half of that, so it's eight ounces. And then you just mix that together. This is a whole onion, white onion. Put that in too. You're gonna mix this together. This is your base for your enchiladas. When the chicken's done, we'll pick up from there. And our chicken is done. Now, I like mine spicy, but if you don't like really spicy, cut the seasonings down to about half of what I told you for that. So, now we're going to put these together. So, you're going to layer your enchiladas with a layer of the cream, a layer of the chicken. Here's our pan. Spray it with oil. Don't stick. Okay. Okay. Take your burritos. I use the burrito size. If you want smaller ones, you can do the half size ones too. So you take your layer. Chicken in it too. Alright, you want to roll it. And you're going to set it in your pan. And you just repeat when you fill your pan up.
You're going to take the leftover cream filling and you're going to just roll it over the top of these. Next, you take your cheese and sprinkle that over. Okay, now we're ready for the oven. Our oven's preheated already. So, here's our food. Let's put it in. We're gonna bake it for 45 minutes. See you shortly. Okay, we cooked it for 30 minutes. Um, a metal pans cook a little bit faster, so you wanna watch it. I also like them crunchy on the ends. Some people don't like crunchy, so if you don't like your enchiladas crunchy, you can put foil over it while you're cooking. All right, so we're gonna stop it. Get out. Oh, this looks so good. Get one of them out. Okay. And you're going to garnish it with green onions. And there you have it. I normally pair this with homemade salsa or pico. So look in the future for those recipes. We will be dropping those too. Now, thank you. Like and subscribe. We'll talk to you soon.